Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are opening up some old school magic posts. Yes, yes. Um, you know what? I'm going to start with this because I think it's it's got a very cool patch in here that was sent to me from uh, from Germany. Yep, that's it. Very, very cool. A playgroup out of Argentina. And of course, this is the Hypnotic Spectre. Very sweet. Comunidad Argentina. Chaos. Very cool. Really nice. This is going in my collection of patches. So I'm going to just put that put that over, over there. Then we've got two packages left. This got a very special card. I'll do that last. I'll first do this one. Now this package has multiple cards in them because one of the things that I did very recently uh, is I created a theme deck called Saruman's Horde and that was based on a deck suggestion in a very old school magazine. This was a um, the Fellowship of Magic the Gathering. It's a, a magazine from uh, from the 90s when Beta was just released, so very old school. And that had a deck in there, Saruman's Horde, and I played with it against uh, one of my patrons, Plague Doctor, and then I thought, you know what? Let's make like a legal version of that deck because there was not the four-off rule in that deck and all that stuff. So I thought, let's, let's make a, like a legal version and do maybe a theme episode, like a Lord of the Rings theme episode. So... For that, I ordered these cards. Let me just get some scissors here for the sellotape. So there are just a lot of cards in here. Basically the Saruman's Horde deck. I'll show you the picture here in the video. It's white and it's um, um, red, of course, because Saruman used to be this good wizard, Saruman the White. But then, uh, yeah, he decided to pledge allegiance to Sauron, the bad guy, of course, and that changed and he started to grow his own orc army. So these are all cards that I can play in that deck. So there are death wards in here and the death wards go together really well with another card in the deck that is stone giants. Now we don't see it here yet. This is the gray ogre, the tutu vanilla. So this is just a purely a flavor deck, obviously really a theme flavor deck. It's not really, you know, a deck that's going to win you a lot of games. It's just for fun. So, uh, Death Ward, regenerate target creature instant speed. It goes together really well with Stone Giant that, mm, that is played in that deck as well. We've got Healing Solves, which I just think in general is a nice card. Maybe I'm just going to play it as a one-off in that, in that deck. So, four Healing Solves. Then we've got some Hill Giants, so some more Vanillas. Three, three Vanilla for four mana. And then we've got Holy Strength, target creature gains plus one, plus two. So you can play this on the um, Stone Giant. Make them a little stronger. And then we have a Mountain Goat. Well, thank you. I didn't order this, but thank you for adding it to the order. <laughs> love, love Mountain Goat, the Goat of Magic. Love that Personal Incarnation. So Personal Incarnation is a 6-6 six, six Summon Avatar, which makes it really special. And here you have, of course, the, the incarnation, but here you've got the wizard casting it and it's casting it from here from his hand. He's got his staff and uh, Saruman also has uh, a staff, you know. So I thought personal incarnation is basically the wizard joining the battle. So I want to play this in the deck. I think it's very flavorful. And in case you don't know, it's a six, six for six is white. And it's got a very special ability because it says caster can redirect any or all damage done to personal incarnation to self instead, right? The source of the damage is unchanged. If personal incarnation is destroyed, caster loses half of his or her remaining life points, rounding up the loss. So this is a very risky card. Now, it has to go to the graveyard though to lose half of your life. So if they sorts to plowshares it, I believe you don't lose the life. So what's really scary here, of course, is a card like Terror. Um, so I guess you've got a death ward for that to try to, to save it if that happens. So I just think it's a very flavorful, cool card. And then we've got Orcish Artilleries, two of those because uh, Saruman is building uh, an Orc army. So there are a lot of Orcs in there. We've got Orcish Oriflames. And there are the Stone Giants that I talked about earlier. So Stone Giant and Death Ward is a really nice combination. Stone Giant, a 3-4 creature, 
Tap to make one of your own creatures uh, a flying creature until end of turn. Target creature with, which must have toughness less uh, than Stone Giant's power, right? So you can only this less. So this power is three. So you cannot throw a Hill Giant. It's too big. But if, the, if, if it gets bigger with a Holy Strength, I can start throwing the Hill Giant as well. So that's a possibility. Now the downside though is that the uh, creature is destroyed at the end of turn. That's of course also where the Death Ward comes in, gives him regeneration, saves it. And it also combos off quite well with the Often Troll. Oi, oi, oi. Um, and then we also have the Soul Net. I thought since, you know, this, this wizard is evil, uh, it wants chaos. It wants, you know, people to die, orcs to die. It doesn't really care what dies, uh, but it would get strength from death. So that's where I thought Soul Net would be a nice inclusion in that flavorful tale of, uh, of Saruman's Horde. Okay, so these are all cards for in that deck. And um, you know what? I'll, I'll show you the new deck once it's done. I'll probably make this Lord of the Rings uh, flavor episode for you guys and then I'll, I'll show the decks. So obviously I'm gonna be the bad guy in that matchup and my opponent Plague Doctor is gonna be the good guy or maybe another bad guy because I know he loves black. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, and then doo -doo 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 -doo, the big the big card of this mail day, and I already have two of these. It's another Italian copy. Let's see. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to open. There we go. Here it is. Boom! Eureka, baby. So this is my third Eureka. They're all Italian. And uh, yeah, you know, this card is so cool. So it's two green and two to cast for a sorcery. And what happens is um, you can cast a permanent from your hand for free. And then you can, and your opponent can cast a permanent for free. And then you can cast a permanent for free. And this continues until you both want to stop. So even if your opponent says, you know, I've cast enough permanents, I'd like to stop. You can just continue, that doesn't matter. And I've got a really cool deck idea with the Shurika, um, and I'm getting closer to completing that deck. So I'm really looking forward to show it to you once it's finished. Uh, maybe for now you can let me know what you would like to use Eureka for. What kind of deck would you build with it? Or maybe you already have an old school magic deck with a Eureka in it. I would love to hear from you. Talking about that, if you have a moment, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video on your socials. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. Talking about moving forward, we also have our very own Patreon page, check out patreon.com slash timmytalks. And if you decide to become a patron of the show, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll at the end of every single video, including this one. Let's go to the end scroll.